My, my research deals with the fundamental mechanisms by which the skeleton develops, how it is growing after birth, and how it is maintained as we age. Why I'm here is that I'm going to talk about the mechanisms by which certain stem cells become bone-forming cells uh, or fat cells. And uh, as we age in our bones, we lose bone over time. This is age-dependent uh, bone loss, which in the extreme becomes osteoporosis. And what is characteristic of, of this bone loss with age is that as you lose the bone mass inside your skeleton, you get more fat. So <clears throat> it is known that the cells that give rise to bone forming cells can also form fat cells. So it looks like during osteoporosis, there's something wrong with the decision by these stem cells to form bone forming cells. Instead, more and more with age, instead of forming bone forming cells that maintain the bone mass in the skeleton, they form more and more fat cells. Uh, so <clears throat> my laboratory is very interested in understanding the regulation of how stem cells make a decision to make bone forming cells or fat cells and understand what happens with age in the decision made by these cells. And we think that if we could understand that mechanism of that decision, be bone building cells or fat cells, we might be able to prevent this sliding with age in their decision to make fewer and fewer bone forming cells and more and more fat. Uh, so <clears throat> the idea would be to learn enough about the mechanisms and define targets for therapy, for drugs that would help these cells continue to build bone with age and avoid the age-dependent bone loss that in the extreme becomes osteoporosis. The short answer is that we try to understand what happens during age-dependent bone loss, osteoporosis, so that we one day can develop drugs to prevent it.